Okay. So, as Allison mentioned, we're going to dive into the DOK piece. So, within this, we're going to kind of get into the context of what is it that rigor is. And so, you're going to see this name here, Karen Hess. You probably already saw her on your grids, your DOK grids that we passed out. Um, you are going to see her on some other uh, professional development uh, documents that she's presented on or written. And the Common Core has very much embraced this thinking as well as the Smarter Balance Assessment Consortium. This, a lot of the slides that I'm about to go through are adapted from different presentations Karen has actually done. Um, and so the slides that I'm particularly referencing are from these two different pieces. So just to, to make sure to give credit where credit is due there. So the objectives of this next portion uh, have to do with getting a shared understanding of this cognitive rigor. So what is that cognitive rigor? What does that mean? Um, what does that look like? And how is that put together? And then we're going to continue on further and put you in a spot then where once we get into cognitive rigor, you'll get a better chance to get that DOK and put it into application around the instruction that you're providing to students, the questions you're asking of students, and of course, the main reason we're getting together, the assessment. But you can't have the assessment without the conversation around that instruction um, and the questions that you may ask of students to set them up for that. So before I get into some of what's out there for you to get to know more about it, what I want you to do is just write down a definition of cognitive rigor and what that word means to you. Cognitive rigor, what does it mean if you want to take an instruction spin, uh, maybe learning or assessment? So what is cognitive rigor and how does it fit into those? If you don't have a piece of paper, um, there are white blank paper in the middle of your table or should be or we can get you some, okay? So just take a minute and write a definition to cognitive rigor. Any questions that you have? All right. 